Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the real reason why I took a break from social media. Okay, and I'm just going to be real. Like, I'm going to keep it 100 for real. Okay, the reason, well, one of the reasons why I love social media is because, for one, I was spending too much time on Instagram and Snapchat when I could have been looking for a job. I know I mentioned that I just graduated from college. Well, not just graduated. I graduated um, last July. So a year ago, I graduated from college, and I majored in um, medical assistant. So um, instead of looking for a job and applying myself, I'll, I'll be on Snapchat and Instagram all day, like literally to the time I close my eyes and go to bed. And... I felt like it was a distraction because that time I was spending on there, I could have been looking for a job, you know what I'm saying, and or spending more time with my kids or something. And I was really on there, like I would be on there waiting for something to happen. Like I'll just be on Instagram for nothing, Snapchat for nothing, and nothing would happen. And I'm, it's like going to the refrigerator expecting more food to be in there, and nothing is going to pop up. And also. It was a lot of people that irritated me. It was a lot of things that irritated me. Like, for example, um, on Instagram, certain people would like certain videos or certain um, pictures on somebody's page, like like a group or something. Like, they only like this person's picture or that person. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was really childish. Like, a social media is networking. You should show everybody love that you're following. And I hate ghost followers. That's another reason why I took a break from it. And um, I'm petty. Like, I, if I find out somebody didn't like my stuff and I'm liking all theirs, trust me, I will go back and unlike it. And sometimes I will unfollow them. And, you know, you can hit the block button and unblock so they can unfollow you too. Yes, I'm, I'm petty. I do that. And it was just stuff like that. Or I would see somebody that followed me on Instagram and actually liked my stuff. But when they see me in person, they wouldn't even speak. So I'm like... What? And I, before y'all say, oh, you could have spoke, trust me, I spoke first uh, plenty of times. And they just act like, I'm sorry, they act like they didn't want to speak and gave me like a half ass wave or a half ass hey, fake. Okay, so trust me, after that, I will go home, unfollow, because that shit like that just makes me mad. Um, Another reason why I took a break from social media... Well, for Snapchat, um, hmm, how can I put this? People would like my rants and all that, because trust me, I be going off on there. Like, they called me the queen of Snapchat. I was going off every other day, and I'm not even going to lie. It was kind of funny, though. But people would, you know, comment on that and send me DMs about my rants, but then when I'm talking about positive stuff, it'll be no feedback, no comments, no congratulations, no whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, I see where their mind is, but it's all good. So that was the main reason why I left Snapchat for a little while. And, and honestly, I was on Snapchat more than Instagram. Like I was getting nothing done on Snapchat. Like I just had to see everybody snap. I just had to make a snap. Like I never missed a moment. Like you know how 24 hours up, Snapchat gone? Trust me, my 24 hours was never up. It was always a different snap. Like, you would think Snapchat was paying me because I was up there every day, every minute. And eventually, it started taking over my life. Like, I would also compare myself to other people's lives. Like, dang, they happy. They happy in their relationship. Um, they doing fun stuff. They going out. They got friends. They doing this and that. And I'm sitting at home, you know, with my kids all day. I don't have no life. Um, so that was affecting me too, because for one, I need to stop comparing myself to people because I'm me, you know what I'm saying? I'm myself and I got my own thing going on. And then to be quite honest, a lot of people are faking for social media. Like they're not that happy. They're not living a life like that. They're not that, you know, they're not that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not making that much money or they not that bougie. They're just trying to put on the front and me, I don't put on the front. I am sometimes a negative person and that will show on Snapchat. I won't put on the front for nobody because who are you to me? I don't have to do that. So that was nothing that was getting to me. And it took some really deep thinking to realize, okay, some people are fronting. You know what I'm saying? And another reason that I took a break from social media, and keep it real. I wanted to see who really, I don't want to say the F word, but who really, you know, rock with me. I'm going to say that. Who really rock with me? Let's see, you know, people who have my number, let's see if they really text me or call me 
once I'm off Snapchat or Instagram instead of just messaging me on Snapchat when they see something funny on the air or something negative or they want to be nosy like what happened or what's going on I wanted to see who would text me and call me without me hitting them up and y'all want to know how many people did that nobody and I'm not talking with my sister. My mother doesn't even have um, social media, so she don't even count. So I'm not talking with my sister because she has social media. And she's always on my social media. And she, she calls me, whatever. But besides her, who did that? Nobody. I'm just keeping it real. Nobody. So that taught me a lesson right there that nobody really rocks with you, La Crystal. You're by yourself. You just have your kids and your family. And that's it. But it's all good because, for one, social media is not that important to me, honestly. I went... Let's see, I had Facebook in 2012. No, I got rid of Facebook in 2012. I'm sorry, I got rid of it. And I've been doing good for a whole good five years. Then when I went to college um, in 2016, I think it was April 2016 when I started college. And towards like mid-end of me graduating, um, all my friends was on Instagram and Snapchat and telling me what's going on with celebrities and this, that drama. And I'm like, man, I ain't got no life. I need to get back on social media. So I was like, I'm definitely not going back to Facebook because that's just drama. I'm not going back to Facebook. And I never had Instagram before. I never had Snapchat. And I do like being on camera. So I was like, let me get that a try. I gave it a try and I got addicted to it. But at least it wasn't that much drama. It was just little stuff that makes me mad because I get irritated very easily. So that's what made me get it back. So I can really live without social media. Like I said, I want a whole good five years without it. So I can do more than five years or I can do another five years. But um, I'm not really staying off of social media permanently. I'm just taking a little break to get my mind together because it is a distraction. Like I said, I could be doing other things to evaluate my mind and keep myself busy, like, stuff, important stuff, instead of, because it was one thing where I had self-discipline, like, okay, LaCrystal, you're going to get on Snapchat, Instagram for a little bit, and then you're going to get off and fold your clothes or take, go to the grocery store, um, trust me, I'll be on Snapchat and Instagram all day and be like, okay, I'm going to work out, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and it'll never come, because I'll be on Snapchat or Instagram, so, n now that I'm off of it for a little while, I don't, Filled out a lot of applications at doctor's offices. I got a lot of stuff done that I need to get done around the house. Um, I got my basic stuff done, like my laundry. Um, I have more time with my kids. I'm like, dang, that was really taking over my life. And I'm not as depressed as I was. Like, I was really depressed. I ain't even gonna lie. I was really depressed when I was on Snapchat. Because, like I said earlier, I would watch people be happy and always smiling and going on trips, going out of state, going on road trips. Um, I think I just said that. But um, just doing fun stuff, family stuff, going to cookouts, like just little outings. And I'm just sitting in the house like, okay, why don't I have any friends? Why does nobody like me? Like I'm funny. I'm fun to be around. Um, but I guess you're just not for everybody. Not, and I'm okay with that. I'm different. I don't – most people that I know – they want to do stuff to fit in and be like everybody else. I'm not like everybody else. I'm me. I could be nice. I could be funny. I can cuss you the hell out. And I come with many different personalities. I'm not bipolar, though, y'all. But I'm a cancer, if that makes it any better. But I'm myself. Like, I'm just me. I don't try to do stuff to please the other person or do stuff to fit in. Or I don't kiss ass. And I don't care who likes me and who don't. But... I guess seeing that stuff on Snapchat made me realize, like, dang, I don't have anything. But I do have something. I have my family. I have my kids. Well, that is my family. I have my but it's my friends. I don't have any friends. Um, I have my mother. That's my biggest supporter. Like, anything I need, my mother is always there. Like, always. Always there. I love my mom. First, we didn't get along too well. But now we are, like, ever since my dad died, we're really close. So... I had to sit back and evaluate, like, LaCrystal, everything you think you don't have, you do have, and then some, you know. So, social media is not really that important. That's where you'll find the fakest people, actually, to be quite honest, because you're not really living that lifestyle. So, and some people you could just see right through, like, she ain't really living like that, or he ain't really living like that, he ain't got it like that, but it's whatever. I guess that's just part of life with social media um let's see i know there's other reasons why i took a break from instagram and snapchat 
um, well, I know on Instagram I will always get into little arguments on these little vlog pages because for some reason, people get mad at you for having an opinion. That's why it's called an opinion. Everybody has their right, have a right to their own opinion. I will say something, let's say on a Love and Hip Hop page, I will say something and everybody want to um, add me and tag me and all this dumb stuff. Like, I can say what I want. This is, this is well, I can't say it's my mouth because I'm typing, technically. But I can say what, I can say what the hell I want to say. And that's my opinion. So I had to do a lot of blocking. a lot, and Because I, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you on social media. Like, why argue with you? I'm never going to see you, probably. We're in two different states, whatever. So there's no point of arguing. But I will still get mad. I wouldn't show that person I'm mad because that's they're winning. They're winning regardless because I'm still getting mad. But they don't know they're winning shit. So I will sit up there and get mad. And I'm like, you know what? Whatever. So I would have to just block people left and right. I would have to block guys because they get mad because I'm not messaging them. For one, I don't want you. For two, you have a girlfriend. For three, you're not cute. For four, well, number four, you're broke. Not that I'm a gold digger, but who wants a broke? I don't want to say the N-word, but who wants a broke man? Not me. So it'll be little stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? This is just too much for me. So I'm like, let me just stay off of Instagram. And I had made an announcement on my stories, um, my my IG story, I was like, I'm going to take a break after my birthday, and then stuff will piss me off, so I'm like, I can't wait till my birthday, blah, 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 I was always hinting that on my birthday, excuse me, that I would take a break from social media, because it was getting, it was getting boring anyway, it was the same old thing, me getting mad at everybody, saying stuff, and cussing everybody out, blasting people on Snapchat, that made me mad, whatever, so I didn't think I was going to stick with it, honestly, I thought I was just running my mouth. I, would, I know I wasn't doing it for attention, but um, I, did, I just didn't think I was really going to do it. Then my birthday came. Um, another thing that irritated me, my birthday just passed on the 7th, July 7th, and people was looking at my stories of me saying it's my birthday, and they'll just look at it. So um, I was like, yeah, it's definitely time for me to leave, because that stuff like that irritated me. Like I said, I could be very petty. Stuff like that irritated me. Like, why I look at my video of me saying, it's my birthday, you're not even going to say, happy birthday. Like, that's just rude to me. I don't care. Like, that's just me. That's rude. So, um, before I left Snapchat, I made, I wrote a little story, and I said, um, I made a post. I said, thank you to everybody that wished me happy birthday. Thank you to those who looked at my story and didn't say shit. And thank you to those who text me and, um, what did I say? Text me and direct message me happy birthday. Something like that. I don't know. Something I said. But I was throwing shade. Hella shade. I don't care. I sure was. And, um... I really love Snapchat. That was my last. That was my last post on July seventh, and I know people thinking like, "Dang, that's not long." But trust me, from July seventh to July twenty second, that's a long time for me to be on social media. Because I was, like I said, I was on Snapchat every day. I did not miss a moment. Like I saw everything up there. Everything. I didn't miss anything. I could tell you what happened from the time I started Snapchat, two thousand sixteen of October, to now. Well, not now to July seventh. But, I don't know. I feel more energetic now that I'm off of social media. And, I don't know. I just feel a little better. I do get bored. I did have moments like, dang, let me just see who messaged me. Or let me just see what's going on. But, then I was like, no, nah, of course, so just take your time. Just It'll be there. Like, nobody's that important on there. It'll, it'll be there. So, those are the reasons why I took a break. Because I know people are wondering, like, I know even had people hit my sister up like, well, of course, the last year, okay? She hasn't been on social media. That's how bad it was. Everybody know I don't miss a beat on social media. But those are the reasons why I took a break. So if anybody wondering, those are the reasons. And people might be up here that actually did the things to me that, that made me leave. But, hey, whatever. So that's all I really want to talk about today. Um... Like I said, I do plan on getting back on social media when I get myself together. Um, until then, I'm enjoying my life with my kids and my mom. She don't live with me, just in case. I'm just saying she comes over a lot, so we have a lot of fun together. Um, and like I said, I'm looking for jobs. I'm trying to do something constructive, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's way more important than social media. So until next time, you guys. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.